as a wildlife photographer is really really good to break the pattern and for me that means either doing macro photography or landscape photography today I'm actually going to do some landscape it's been a long time since I've done that and now it's autumn it's October and the leaves are starting to getting uh, yellow and orange you look and perfect to like go out and uh, hunt for like this type of <laughs> object and uh, yeah I found some uh, stream of water like type of river here which I'm going to try to photograph and I'm also going to test a little bit some uh, filters uh, from uh, Case uh, I think it's pronounced that, pronounced that but yeah Stavanger Photo uh, lent me these filters to try them out and see what I think so a perfect day the sun is out and, uh, and a beautiful little stream of water here with all kinds of trees around and stones with moss on so I think this is gonna be good I will recommend every one of you wildlife photographer or bird photographers out there to like try to break the pattern you'll learn so much about composition and thinking differently so that's a good thing to do that once in a while but now let's find a good spot so now I found a spot here where I put my my D500 and to shoot some time-lapse against the sun there and hopefully get some sun uh, sets uh, just behind the trees over there and I have those beautiful stones in the foreground here with some leaves and some moss and oh I can't wait to see how that turns out but this is a beautiful spot and I can't wait to start to take some pictures This is a really race against the clock here. The sun has already disappeared and it's not long uh, until the sun is totally down and it's starting to get darker and darker here in the forest. So I've run around all kind of composition trying to like to see uh, simplicity as much as I can to get all the colors and uh, experiment with, um, with the filters. I have a polar filter on uh, which I'm like turning and see what uh, what is the best uh, result but it's really really beautiful here and uh, now I'm gonna try uh, to use a large maple I think it's called maple tree here and use that in the foreground and see if I can get some different kind of shots This looks nice. Uh, now, as I'm using this maple tree in the foreground, hanging over, like framing in all these uh, awesome streams of water and these really nice stones. So, yeah, I have no idea how this is gonna be. Let's see, let's take a picture.
just had a grey wagtail, a female, landing on a stone three meters from me. I tried to film it with a wide angle and but yeah, and I thought about taking a picture with the wagtail on top of the stone. That would be oh that would be so awesome, but yeah, unfortunately it flew away before I could do that. But uh, ah yeah, even though not a wildlife trip, the nature provides me from some wildlife that was really nice. But I think this this spot here is really good. Uh, using uh, the leaves in the foreground, I have some leaves on the stone here, and uh, I think that turns out really good. I know I've turned up the ISO a little bit from 100 to 160, and I'm having a three second expo exposure time now in F8. This turned out nice, like you saw. I just had a close encounter with a dipper. This awesome environment here. So I'm definitely going back with my telephoto lens uh, <laughs> sometimes. But yeah, oh, how beautiful was this? And hopefully I got some images that were okay as well. Uh, it's, I'm not used to vlog in this kind of situation, so I'm sorry if I didn't like tell you all my process and what I think but everything just went so fast and uh, but was so so fun I'm definitely going to do this more so I hope you enjoy this as well as I did and like I said I recommend you to like do something different than what you normally do and if you're new here I hope you consider subscribing and hit that bell button and you get notification every time I upload a new video and until next time I will see you Bye.